Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the T cell receptor gene rearrangement. So here is a T helper cell, which has its own T cell receptor, right? And its co-receptor CD4. For T helper cell, the co-receptor is CD4, or the cytotoxic T cell, the co-receptor is CD8. But our focus is TCR today, not the co-receptor. Now, the T helper cell's sole job is to recognize antigens which are displayed onto class 2 MHC molecules by the antigen presenting cell such as this dendritic cell. So this dendritic cell would present extracellular antigens which are derived from pathogens maybe and the T helper cell would recognize that pathogen derived antigen with its T cell receptor. Now imagine this thing. There are many different pathogens present in this environment and each time the dendritic cell or any other antigen presenting cells are sampling these antigens derived from diverse pathogens, right? So each time the TCR is presented with different kinds of antigen such as depicted here. All these different three different scenarios shows that how difficult it is for the T cell receptor to recognize these pathogen derived antigen because because each cases these antigen could be different right now that is why the T cell receptor need diversity need to generate diversity but the question is how the diversity is generated at the TCR level and the answer is gene rearrangement which can possibly generate these diversities and I'm pretty much sure that you guys know that B cell receptors or antibody genes undergoes VDJ recombination. If we look at the TCR gene segments just like the BCR gene segments they are also having VDJ segments. So let me first tell you the alpha beta chain of the TCR is act directly in contact with the antigen. As a result, the alpha beta gene segment is undergoing VDJ recombination and that's the point for diversity. Just like the B cell receptor heavy chain and the light chain gene segments, we have T cell receptor alpha, beta, gamma and delta gene segments which have VDJ components and they can undergo VDJ recombination. Now, VDG recombination takes two important consideration. VDG recombination's first and foremost criteria is to have signal sequences that would initiate the recombination process. And obviously, RAG1 and RAG2 recombinase are important because without the recombinase enzyme, how recombination would take place? It turns out both these components are present in T cells suggesting towards the possibility that T cell can undergo VDJ recombination as well. And this VDJ recombination is taking place in the TCR alpha and beta chains. Now, let me tell you what is the advantage of undergoing VDJ recombination and how diversity can be created. So there are different type of V segments, D segments and J segments, right? So let us assume that here the V segments are actually V1 to Vn, D segments are D1 to Dn and J segments are J1 to Jn. So in each recombination event, different combinations of V, D and J can be combined to form a new type of TC, TCR receptor. Now both the cases, the TCR would have the alpha chain and beta chain, but these alpha chain and beta chain are a little bit different from each other and this origin of diversity make sure that these two TCRs have differential affinity towards an antigen and that is very important for the T cell response. Now the question is where does the VDJ recombination takes place or where does the T cell uh, rearrangement take place, TCR rearrangement take place and it turns out that T cell de development takes place in the thymus, right? Now inside the thymus definitely the rearrangement is taking place. Now T cell first of all commits to its lineage in the cortical region and not signaling turns out to be important 
for this phenomena after lineage commitment t cell undergo several stages first st set of stages are known as dom uh, double negative stage in this double negative stage in the d1 double negative stage 1 to double negative stage 2 transition they undergo beta chain rearrangement now after that after the double negative stage 4 they undergo the alpha chain rearrangement so these alpha and beta chain rearrangements are happening to different temporal points and inside the thymus other than alpha beta rearrangement there could be also gamma delta rearrangement as well but the gamma delta rearrangement is extremely rare because there are two rearrangement events that need to happen now already the probability that the gamma delta chain would be formed is very less so gamma delta tcr containing t cells are also very less they are comprising roughly 25 percent of the total t helper cells so roughly we have two type of t cells alpha beta t cells and gamma delta t cells based on what type of gene rearrangement has occurred in their t cell receptor and even if they are alpha beta t cells the affinity of alpha beta tcrs are different in different set of t cells and that leads to diversification of um, detection in terms of different antigens now the gamma delta t cells are extremely rare and after birth their number decreases sharply whereas alpha beta t cells they increase in number now let's compare these two alpha beta t cells and gamma delta t, t cell receptors for a little bit details now alpha beta tcr rearrangement is more likely to occur compared to a gamma delta tcr rearrangement now definitely alpha beta t cells are higher in number compared to gamma delta t cells and ultimately alpha beta tcrs are more diverse right and in terms of antigen recognition they play crucial role not gamma delta tcr but gamma delta tcr has their defined role in the prenatal phase in the gestational phase so both of these combinations are important so in this video we kind of appreciate that just like the b cell receptor t cell receptor also undergoes vdj recombination and that is one of the mechanism by which antibody uh, or that is the one of the mechanism by which diversity in terms of antigen recognition is taking place and we also looked at exactly which temporal window this kind of recombination event is taking place and where it is taking place so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you